text from work at 9 p.m. What about on a Sunday morning? All right, smartphones obviously make it easy to stay on the clock 24-7. Even if we're not getting paid, Jen Lommer shows us how one CEO even uses text messaging to put potential hires to the test. It's the weekend, and you get a phone call or a text message from your boss. So what do you do? Do you answer right away, or do you wait until Monday? You've got your own free time. You've got your family time. It's your personal time. You're off the clock. But for more and more people, there is no such thing as off the clock anymore. Orrin Bass runs a lone startup and says it's common for him to reach out to employees after hours. I think it's all to do with, you know, how empowered and how motivated they feel. Yeah. And so when they feel like that, then people are generally happy to work past kind of the nine to five. But his employees are on the payroll. What about those who haven't been hired yet? In a recent New York Times article, Barstool Sports CEO Erica Nardini reveals the unconventional way she vets job candidates, saying, quote, if you're in the process of interviewing with us, I'll text you about something at 9 p.m. or 11 a.m. on a Sunday just to see how fast you'll respond. If that person waits too long, usually more than three hours, it's game over. That's ridiculous. There are any number of pre-employment tests that are legitimate. Texting someone, emailing them off hours to see how quickly they respond is not one of them. While Time Inc. Chief Human Resource Officer Greg Giangrande does not expect Nardini's method to catch on. A lot of work is done. A lot of communication is done off hours. So it's very different person by person, function by function, situation by situation. It can be completely appropriate. It's something a younger generation has gotten used to. A survey by research firm GFK found that millennials took the most pride in being workaholics, while others say no amount of money or grief at work is worth losing time with family and friends. I think whatever it is can wait until Monday morning. I don't think the world's going to change over the weekend. On the Upper East Side, Jennifer Lammers, Fox 5 News. Well, the UK is cracking.